Hello, everyone. Now, today we are going to demonstrate uh, one of the features of Flow, which has been released uh, on the Winter 20. Uh, so that's that's going to be the lookup screen component uh, on, on Flows. So we are going to demonstrate this with an example um, of creating a contact by fetching the accounts, related accounts. So to achieve this, you need to go to Setup and Salesforce. Type flows on the quick find. Click on the flows and create a new flow. You will get an option of screen flow and auto launch flow. About the auto launch flow, I'll be explaining you in my further videos. Uh, right now, I'll demonstrate this particular functionality by using screen flows. Click on the create button. So you will land up on the canvas page of the flow. This is where you've got to build the flow, wherein these are the these are the different kind of components which are used for different kind of functionalities. So currently, first first thing is about taking the information from the user. So we're going to use the screen component. So here, firstly, name the screen component. After that, the uh, make sure you have all the mandatory fields. So right now we are demonstrating an example to create a contact. So to create a contact, you need the last name field as a mandatory field. So I'll add a couple of more fields to it so that you know you can with the, it, it. So once you add one of the component, so you need to name label them so this i'll give it as a last name And now I'll look up to the lookup component, which is a new feature. So the lookup component, you need to define the API name of the object which you are looking up to. So currently I'll be looking up to the account. So the field name is account ID. The label is uh, accounts. And the object API name is which one are you looking at? So I'll be looking at, uh, I'll be looking at from case. So these are the three components which I've placed, which I'll be fetching the values of these three and then passing it into the record ID. So this, so now once this is done, now we got to pass this into a record ID. So I'm going to create a record. You're going to place it in separate variables. The variable name would be con you're placing it in the contact object. So the account ID field is mapped to the account lookup and record ID. And the second one is the last name which you have defined there. So last name is mapped to the last name component. Then the first name, first name is mapped to the first name. You have to define an ID where you'll store this variable in. So I'll create a new variable. So oh, you can see here the account ID field is mapped to the account ID component which I've which I've placed in the screen component, last name to the last name and the first name to the first name. Click on done. Connect these three. Then you need to save this flow. 
first. So you can before activating this, you have you can debug and then check. So give your details. account I've chosen if I've just I just have one account right now but you can choose whichever if there are many accounts you can choose from that and then click on the next see so here it shows the record has been created the account ID has been passed to that account ID that's the TechForce account ID the first name is TechForce the last name is test the result is the, it's there's a new record created so if you can copy this just to check whether everything is right you can go to the contacts and if you see here this is a this is the contact which has been created now so the account name has been populated here techforce and the first name and the last name okay so now now we can activate this flow. Yeah. So now once the flow is activated, you can go back to oh, setup and then go to the case. If right now, currently I'm placing it on the case object. So I go to the object manager, search for case. So look up to case and I can go to buttons and links, create a new action on the new action i'll say i'll need to the action type will be flow so create a contact on case label will be create contact Now go to the, if you, to place this uh, new action, you need to place it on the page layout. So I'll go to the case page layout and then to case layout. Go to the mobile and lightning actions and search for create contact as here. So before that, if you have not overridden the predefined actions, overwrite the predefined actions and then drag and drop the create contact. And once you save that, you can go back to one of the records in case. Oh, it's not, it has come, but then I think we need to disable the feed. Oh, just one second, I'll get back on that. Yeah, so the, the reason why we have, we still haven't got uh, the, the quick action button here is because there are limitations in Salesforce, uh, which is documented as well wherein for the case object, we need to disable the feed tracking uh, and only then we can get the quick action uh, button here. So please make sure that, you know, before creating a quick action on the case object, make sure you disable the functionality uh, of in, on the case object. So let's, let's do that right now. So we can go to setup and go to feed tracking. On the feed tracking, you find the case object. On the case object, Make sure you disable this is right now enabled. Let's disable this and save this. Once that's saved, you can come here and refresh the screen.
now if you see you have your button here create contact go to create contact it's asking for your last name and the account you want to you can choose any account select next so now if you go back to contacts you have your the record which i created with the account name map to it so oh, you can in this way you can map any of the fields and then you can display it on the screen to the user and so in that way you can create a contact directly from case uh, with through a flow by uh, looking up to the account or any other object if you want to uh, relate it to that particular object so that's it for today so we'll demonstrate further on this uh, uh, flow uh, we will show you more features uh, and what can be achieved through, through the through the flow in in a future videos thank you